you're probably sick and tired of all those fake calls, emails, and texts that you get, right? Well, quite a few of them can be grouped into one category, imposter scams. An imposter scam is when someone pretends to be with a legitimate business or government agency in order to con you out of money or personal information. Some common imposter scams include when a debt collector calls you or sends you an official looking letter claiming to be with a government agency, such as the IRS or Sheriff's Office, it could be an imposter scam. They threaten to arrest you or take you to court if you do not immediately pay the fake debt. They tell you to wire the payment or use a rechargeable money card. If a tech support person or a computer technician contacts you to tell you you have a computer virus, it's probably an imposter scam. They ask for permission to remote access to your computer to repair it for a charge. While they have access, they may also install malware on your computer giving them access to your personal files, accounts, and passwords. Utility scams are when a billing department calls or someone from a utility company says you are behind on your bills and demands immediate payment for the service or will be shut off. And sudden calls from unknown people claiming a family emergency are often referred to as grandparent scams. Someone claims a family member is in trouble and urgently needs money to get them out of jail or for emergency medical care. These imposter scams play on your fear and anxiety to take you and your relatives money. Be cautious anytime you receive an unsolicited incoming communication, a call, email, or text from an unknown sender. You really don't know who you're talking to because scammers are able to spoof, mimic real phone numbers to our caller IDs to make them look legitimate. The only sure way to know that you're dealing with a real business or government entity is to look up trusted contact information on your own and make the call yourself. Do not trust the phone numbers or email addresses in the message that you received. If a message or call is unsolicited and requests your personal information, it's a scam. Most legitimate businesses won't ask for your information over the phone or email, and certainly not through a text message. Do not provide personal information when someone calls you. If you are concerned that the, about the information in the message, contact the business through a separate verified contact method, such as phone number on a previous bill. If the conversation turns towards paying money, especially by wiring money or paying with gift cards, it's a scam. Two other ways to spot a scam is if you are being threatened or if the caller is dem demanding. When a caller says payment is needed urgently, such as if you don't pay today you'll be arrested, these are red flags of a scam. The best defense against imposter scams is to not respond. If you don't recognize the number, just ignore it. Delete emails and texts from unknown senders and never click on any hyperlinks or attachments. Turn off read receipts on emails and texts so the scammers don't get verification that their message made it through. Lastly, reach out to your phone service provider and inquire if there are any blocks that you can put in place to stop these imposter scams or download a blocking app to your smartphone yourself. Learn more by enrolling in Consumer Protection 101 by subscribing to our YouTube channel or following us on social media. More resources are available on the Consumer Protection 101 webpage at www.consumerprotection.com datcpwi.gov